Are you sure this time, Don? We're good. You sure? We're good. He said we're on, and I started talking, and then he said we're not on. Okay. So, hey, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I am from OML Embroidery. Over there, making a mess, apparently, no is mess. Don. <laughs> so today... Hit the wrong button, sorry. Well, don't hit the wrong button. You should know it by now. Jeez. Oh, what a great way to start off. Come on. Um, now stop interrupting me. All right. I have bad allergies. I sound way worse than I am. Uh, so try not to worry about it. If I, if my voice turns manly or I'm a little sniffy, I do apologize in advance, but it's just allergies. Nobody panic, just allergies. So my nails today, I didn't do any fancy designs on them because I'm enjoying the sparkle of it all. Do you see how those sparkle? I love it. So I'm going to do something on it today. Um, but it's just kind of plain for what I normally do, but the sparkles are fantastic. So do you guys remember this guy for la from last week? I like him. I love the colors. I decided for this design, which by the way is from Creative Kiwi. And you can go there and get it for free. Hopefully Creative Kiwi people are watching too. But here's what I picked. What are you doing? Do you want to remind these people? No. Um, here's what I picked. So this is another shade of the bubble pattern. Isn't that cute? So yeah, that's going to be the color for today. And this is a little bit loud, but it matches. So, it's loud. well, it's a bit of a, a bright. I used the it's similar true. thing on the back. So we can put that aside. If you haven't watched this, you should. It was a great video. So, uh, and then batting. So what I wanted to point out, did you guys notice that my fabric fits almost perfectly into the hoop. Did anyone notice that? Anyone at all? Yeah, that's because I used my uh, sweet pea rulers, which fit perfectly in. So it was really easy. I pre-cut my pre-cuts. So the, I think that's pretty cool because the these are uh, layer cakes, right? Layer cakes. And so I pre-cut my layer cakes. So I pre-cut my pre-cut. Um, super de do thank you i have them in a nice little uh, holder i have them handy remember though the hoop mat is not uh, a cutting sir uh, like a cutting mat it's for hooping so you can't cut on this you still have to put down a cutting mat so everyone hop over to creative kiwi and it's under the free designs a little pop-up comes up and uh, it's uh, really nice. I just thought it would be really good to, I haven't done Creative Kiwi stuff for a long time and they always stitch out perfectly and they always look fantastic. So introducing as well, introducing Who our introducing? the new camera mount that we have. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, pretty good. Um, we finally got it put up. It's a kind of a little bit of a complicated jobby, but hopefully you guys will like the view. So Don, can we switch to Mick Dreamy, who is my brother dream machine? Mick Dreamy is up. How do we like the view? Does everyone like it? Oh, I can see it now. I turned around. I like the view. I like it view. The lighting is good. Sorry, I had to... Fix my runny nose. Uh, got the design, love KK. But do not like. I love the fabrics, but don't like spell check. I I don't get it. I must be missing that I conversation. Like um, I also decided today to not play bobbin chicken. So what's in my bobbin? A full bobbin, a new one. There's no chicken today. I, I'm not, I'm not I'm well not enough. No, I don't think I would make it. So I have chosen bright colors for this, uh, bright turquoise. Let me get everything laid out here, um, which will be a very nice contrast. Um, and I think it'll look great on the fabric. All right, so everyone ready to go? Yes. Keep ready to go? Yes, okay, so 
Oh, see, I have a lot of freedom. I should be able to thread it nicely. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, Creative Kiwi. We love Creative Kiwi. The first step is going to be a placement line. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Hopefully you guys are stitching along with me. If not, chat away. I can never keep up with the chats when I'm doing sew-alongs, but there we go. So as always, I don't recommend that you use such a bright color, but if I don't use it, you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. So there's a lot of sizes included. I decided to stick with the uh, five by seven hoop because that's what we've been doing all along. So I decided that would be you know, the best option, but I think there's a six by six and eight by eight. I can't remember how big it goes. I kind of like this. Maybe later on I'll stitch out a bigger one or the biggest one um, just for fun. So this is the five by five and it fits handily into the five by seven. So once we have our placement down, we are going to stitch this stuff down which is batting. I like to use the warm and natural now that I I have some. I got some sent to me. I have a great stash and I'm, I haven't even made a dent in it yet so I'm kind of happy about that. So, yeah, looking good. You guys can still see everything. Now we're going to have to take a couple minutes to trim it because it's uh, a beautiful design, but there we go. So, Oh, thank you very much, McDreamy. So we're going to go back to the desk and trim this separately. So back to the desk, Don. Don? Yeah, desk is up. Okay, pay attention, sweetheart. I am. I'm working multiple things here. You, you can do it. I'm doing it. Okay, duck build scissors. We're going to use them. I think mine need to be sharpened, but... Oh, it's not too bad. I did it last week, so it should be okay. And, of course, you want to get as close as you can to the stitch line without going over and without, you know, leaving big pieces of it. It's easier to cut the batting first, so that's why I'm doing it. And it's just one last thing to do at the end, um, rather than doing multiple layers. But try to get into the corners Make sure you're using the duck bills properly, which is this side down so you don't catch anything. Um, just makes for just makes for good trimming. Move your hoop around. I tend not to do any trimming, even appl applique. I tend not to do it on the machine um, because I think you can get better trims if you have it on your desk like this or, or table beside you or anything like that so you can turn the hoop around and get the right angles especially if you're using duckbill scissors see I'm doing a pretty good job today I'm a little off because of these silly allergies I think I'm allergic to Dawn so yeah, yeah. you didn't hear that I whispered I, I actually didn't quite hear it, but I knew you were talking about me. Oh, 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 really? <laughs> really? Thought oh, I just heard it now. You're uh, allergic to me. <laughs> I heard it in the delay. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Darn delay. Darn it. You sharpen your own scissors? I do, yeah. And what do you use? That little Fiskars thing. I've showed them before. Can you get it? It's in my top drawer. I'll show you guys if you want, yeah. Because uh, you have to have sharp you scissors to work. And I keep mine really handy. There's different kinds of this, but this one, I think I got it at Michael's maybe or Walmart. And you just put your scissors in. It's a little bit awkward with the duck bills, but you just sharpen it. Isn't that cool? But I like to keep my scissors sharper. Maybe I can show you better with the gingers. That's how the movement is. And just a couple times and then test them and that's it. It didn't hardly cost any money. Okay, so nothing, absolutely nothing compares to uh, professional sharpening. But in a pinch, this will do. Nice and sharp. Okay, so back to McDreamy. Back to McDreamy, Don. Don? Yep. McDreamy's up. 
Okay, thank you. Thought you missed it. So the next step, now that I did a pretty decent job on that, the next step is going to be our pretty fabric. Look how great that looks. I hope you guys can see the colors really well because it's it's so pretty. And to think if you are making something with this fabric, look how fantastic everything would go together. The green is the same. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So the next step is going to stitch this down so it doesn't move. We don't want it to move. So let's do that. And how's it looking? Oh, donations. Good. Janet Nelson, thank you very much. Elaine Chapman, thank you very much. Hello from Norway. My little dog is watching too. What kind of a dog is it? Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Our dogs are outside because Tank and Beetlejuice are still in play mode. And you guys don't need to hear that. So, okay, once this is stitched down, looks fantastic. I think I picked a really good color. The next step is going to be the quilting. So it looks super pretty. And I'm going to still use the bright turquoise that I have. Awesome. I'm sorry? Oh, that's, that's cool. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a sneeze, an allergy sneeze. Again, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to Dawn. I'm just going to move the microphone a little bit. So when I'm, hopefully that's a bit clearer. Oh, fun. I love the colors. I love the bubbles as well. I think that's a fun print. I almost wish that I got some yardage of it, or at least fat quarters, because I love the prints in it. And I love the turquoise. So we're going to make this one bright and happy. I hope everyone has a drink and are enjoying ourselves. This is our favorite day of the week, is our so long. Found an issue with what? A new camera mount. What? And we have shaky shake. When you stitch it past, it's a little bit of a wavy. Oh. Yeah, well, you can. Okay, that's cool. We'll have to see what we can do with that. E yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. Oh well. Did anyone complain? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't know if anybody caught it. I did. Uh, so bright colors, this shell, okay, I think I'm going to stick to turquoise, the same turquoise, I think it'll look good for the this, and then I've got a bright pink, and I've got a bright yellow, I want to do the flowers in yellow, I think that would be really cute. I think we can put on a stabilization dog and that'll solve that. No biggie. No, okay. It's the best mount we've ever had and it's not in my way and you guys get the full on view. So we're going to make it work. I, I really like it not being in my way. That's why we had been trying the, the side view sort of thing because we kind of thought it would it, it's better for me if I don't have to keep bonking the camera. So maybe we can put something underneath McDreamy so it doesn't vibrate the dust so much. So Charlotte says, I love the view. Yeah, it's much better. I'm really thumbs up, pretty thumbs up. I'm happy about that. Um, finally, we figured it out. And we didn't have to spend a whole lot of money, but that's where the donations go to. Every time we switch, we get a better uh, view for you guys. So we'll fix it. I love, I love the turquoise. I'm, I like the blue thread on the top. It really pops out. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, should I change colors? Because I have this pink to go for the wording. What do you guys think? Or should I just do it all in turquoise and pink and yellow flowers? What do you guys think? I don't know. 
Joyce, thank you very much for the donation. Sorry if I missed them. I'm trying. So what do we think? Oh, they they love the view. So that's awesome. We're we're really happy with it. Other than a little bit of vibrations, but whatevs. So what should I do? Bright colors? What do you think, Don? You can tell me what you think. Some people are saying mix it up. I think leave it blue and they're saying use pink and yellow flowers. Okay, that's kind of what I thought of. Uh, only because I think this color on it looks fantastic. Like it's the darkest part of one of these bubbles, but I think it's the same, you know, color family. So let's see. We'll do this. Put my pink down. It's nice there's color changes so you can do what you want. I think that's cool. I like. So pretty. This should brighten up everyone's day. You can do different sizes so it's for everyone. I think it would be nice having like even like a bigger one. And I get a sneeze. Ugh. Is there anything worse than a tickly nose? No. Well, tickly throat. <laughs> ah, excuse me. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This is awesome. I like it too. Yeah. This, the other good thing about this is that it's a quick stitch. And I like that. Whew. Tickly nose. I just want to take off my nose and throw it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> it's nice, so it's okay, it's yeah, not blowing. Because when I sneeze, man, I sneeze. Um, I don't set off the crash alarm. Sam does when she sneezes, but I'm trying to keep it quiet. It is what it is. It's allergies. Just like, you know, whatever nothing worse just allergies again I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to Dawn but you know who's counting it does feel good to have McDreamy going I've been working on other things and plans and I need a good design we're gonna do some stitch alongs that I didn't even stitch anything all week this is my first stitch out um and I'm happy to say it feels really good it feels really good. I love the colors make me happy. Oh, it's awesome. What do you think, Don? Nice to nice to have stitching going on? Oh yeah. It, it's, That's why I was running the machine yesterday on the order. It's nice to hear that. It's nice to hear the machines going. It's uh believe it or not, it's comforting to my kids when they hear the machines going because that's been their normal for good portion of their life because I always say oh is the machine too loud and both of them say no I love it it helps me sleep or you know whatever because they're so used to hearing it because we've been doing this for a while since my my kitties were little oh yeah great job creative kiwi I think uh, every once in a while we should do a creative kiwi stitch along and maybe some others if I find some patterns that really stand out. I miss it. Creative Kiwi? Yeah, we, yeah. we, we haven't done any in a while and it's kind of nice. It is kind of nice. Creative Kiwi does awesome stuff and a lot of people watch the videos, which is nice. I try to pick one that they haven't done a vi video on, although I didn't check on this one because I wanted to do it. If I want to make it, we can. And uh, I want to do stitch alongs for Anita Good Design. So even if you don't have Anita Good Design, you can watch the gorgeous designs just, you know, come together right in front of you. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to pick the April um, All Access. Thank you, children. My children, I mean. Um, there's a couple of things that I really want to do, like a round zipper bag. It looked amazing. So I'm going to be happy to do that. And if you didn't know, you can put in a request to Steve Wilson. Go to anitagooddesign.com and they are doing a design a day and he will digitize what you want. I put in a request for a dash hound. 
So hopefully I get that. I saw there was a black lab and it was gorgeous. So I thought I dash hound everything. I, I could say treeing walker coon hound or yeah, that's um that's tank. Actually, I wanted to change his name, but they wouldn't the rest of the family said no, he's a tank. So that's the name of the breed is treeing walker coon hound. So coon hound. So I wanted to call him George Cooney. Um but they wouldn't let me do it. Right, Don? I thought well, I, I think it's okay. The girls said no. I think George Cooney calling a dog George, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I do. And he's a coon hound, so Cooney, and he's that cute. So pink flowers or yellow flowers. They said pink and yellow. Can you do both? I don't know how the design's set up. Well, I can stop it, so sure, I can do one flower, one color, and do opposite insides. I'll just have to pay attention. So let's start with pink and see how well the pink looks. So I'm just going to do some threading, and I'm not going to hit the camera because I don't have to. I just have to move my arms around a little bit. This is much better, though, Don. Good. I'm glad it's working out. Yeah. It's a nice view. Well, and it's nice for me. Oh, everybody can see it clearly threading too. Which is... Oh, can you? I'll try not to put really my. Good view. I'll try not to put my hands in the way. Yeah, oh, it is a really good view. I can really see good it. View, yeah. Nice. Okay, so we'll do one flower in the pink. Oh, I think the pink is gonna. I also could have done white. There's a little bit of white in there. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that pink. Oh my goodness. I love it. Guys, I love it. Oh, I love it. Cute little flower too. Yeah, the view, I'm really happy with the view. I don't know if anyone notices too much the wobbly, but we yeah, can fix not that. that noticeable, but I'd like to I'm gonna work on it. I think the lighting's good and the view is good and I'm happy I can um, thread. Pink flowers and blue lettering, I like it. All right, so I just added my own stop, uh, which is cool, because I'm gonna change the thread. So I just stopped it when it got done, the pink flower, and now I'm gonna change it to the yellow because it is a stunning yellow i'm not always happy with yellow thread colors because they're they're a little bit strange sometimes so sorry gotta put it up so i i have a tendency of not using them i guess but i kind of like that one i bumped the camera apologies I did it differently. And thread and flower. So this yellow, what I was saying, sorry, blah, blah, blah. This yellow is really a nice yellow. Oh, see how it stands out? Uh, I love it. I love it. Fantastic. So simple yet so wonderful. I love it. Ugh, sorry, needed a drink. I don't know which one I like better, the pink or the yellow. Those are both nice. Woo! Misha came up with, uh, I think it was Misha, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't mean to be wrong, a uh, really good hashtag today um as many of you may know the goal is to get to a hundred thousand subscribers and she put the hashtag oml journey to 100k i think it was and i love that yeah. uh, i love that so i'm gonna use the yellow for the inside so they go together and i'm gonna have to pay attention and 
do the stop. Oh, it's going to do it right there. Okay, well, that one's going to be yellow then. Sorry, I thought it was going to start over here looking at the machine. She just put it up. Yeah, I love that. That just made me so happy when I read that. I'm like, really? That's the coolest thing ever. That's the best hashtag ever. I need to make a t-shirt or something with that on it. That's how much I like it. Okay, so I kind of like that. I might do something else for the inside it didn't work out quite the way that I wanted but I might put a little stone or something in there because I think that would look good so the next step is an outline of the whole thing so when you're doing sat satin stitch finish that is your cue to put the backing fabric on um, and if you miss it you can just um, if you forget or not paying attention you can just you know go back and do it so before you do that so my fabric face down always face down now if you want I'm just gonna make sure it covers I'm just kind of peeking underneath there we should be good another way of doing it is you can just kind of lift it up because this is water soluble stabilizer so you can see through it I don't know how well you guys can see that but I can make sure that I'm covered. So face down, covered, and then we are going to stitch it down. And it should stitch out. Yes, you can see it. Okay, good. There's a slight delay on everything. So it's just going to stitch it down. I didn't bother to change colors. Maybe I should have, but meh. Meh. I love those little flowers. They are the cutest ever. So it should go over it twice. Yep, it's going to go back now. It should do it twice so we get everything nice uh, and secure. I kind of like that. There we go. So another thing, um, we're going to, you know, keep working away on stuff. Hopefully my once this allergy thing is done, my embroidery mojo will come back to me. It's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I just, ha I've been blah, I guess. Um, give us some suggestions if you'd like in the comments of what you guys would like to stitch out next. Uh, Don, can we go back to the desk, please? Yep. The desk is on. Thank you. So at this point, this is where you would trim everything. I don't know how well you can see it, but I should have fussy placed it a little bit and put that in the middle just because I think it would look cute. But hey, heck, who is looking at the back of it anyways? Um, but this would be the time where you, if you haven't done it already, you can wind your matching bobbin for your final stitches. I never do it because I don't look at the backs of them, I guess. But it does make it look better if, you know, you ever want to flip them over or something like that. Um, I don't. I always forget. I wind, I used to wind them sometimes, and then I just get so carried, carried away and into what I'm doing that I forget to do it. So I was just like, nah, forget it. I try to remember when I'm by myself, but... I'm not. I have all my embroidery, Saturday embroidery friends together. Um, if I feel better than this, again, it's just allergies. They're just kicking my butt. Um, I may do uh, a sew along or a stitch out or something. I need a good design tomorrow, but I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Don won't be here, but it's okay. We can manage. Or, or maybe just a Q&A, live Q&A. You guys can let me know which one you would like. Um, Q&A, I think, would be really fun. I've never done one of those before. But I think, you know, just have software open on the computer. And people can join in and ask their questions. And we'll figure it out together. I don't have the all the answers, but I can usually figure it out. 
So I wondered if you guys thought that would be fun. Woo! Top side done. Let's flip her over to the bright, the bright side. Welcome to the bright side. We have embroidery. Welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. No, we're not the dark side. We're the bright side. The dark side has cookies. Uh, okay. I don't want a cookie, but that was a good wine I did. That Thank you very good. much. I'm bowing in the background. Takes a bow. My children would be proud. I think they would be proud. This is quite the fabric. You know what I like most about it? Bright. Ja it's... Jackie San Pedro says Q&A, please. Q&A. I, because I've never done one of those. Um, I would, a good idea. Yeah, I wouldn't need to do any prep work. So even if I'm feeling a little bit down. Watch the chat and answer questions. Yeah, you guys, you know, ask anything. Those, uh, everything you wanted to know about embroidery, but were afraid to ask, that sort of thing. And yes, I know I'm using my duck build scissors wrong, but I want you guys to see how I trim and if I do it the other way then my other arm gets in the way so bad Sue bad Sue but I'm doing it anyways I'm a rebel, rebel. and I'm gonna That's sneeze really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. there we go muffled oh that so much better tickle goes away for a minute didn't you uh, marry me for my embroidery machines? Because I had really nice embroidery machines. I was, I was undetermined at the time. <laughs> hey, can you quit your job and do embroidery with me? Uh, Don said, um, mm, yes. That's how it began. So, looking good. What do you guys think? You know, I could have picked orange, too. I think the orange looks stunning. Um, and of course the purple. Yeah, that would be cool. I like it. <clears throat> I think a big one would be gorgeous. So I may kick it up a little bit. I might. Let's see. Back to McDreamy, Don. What's up? What's up? What's up? So, Don, you can pick. Turquoise, the blue for the outside, yellow or pink? Uh, same blue as the lettering. Same blue as the lettering? Yeah. All right. Is your uh, mom watching today, Don? Well, I'm not sure. And Lynn? Are you if, there, Lynn? If, if they're watching because they, they they're having issues with commenting, they can text me and let me know they're watching, and then I know. Oh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Everyone does. Lynn is hopefully watching from the comfort of her new house, which she says she feels very comfortable and very happy to finally, finally be home. It's been a long, a long time. So, if you're not watching, Lynn, I'm sure Mom's you'll... watching. Okay, Mom, everyone say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Don's Mom. Mom says, I'm here. Yay! Yay! So, hello to all you guys. Lynn probably was, but today hers is her shopping day, so she might be getting her groceries. Yeah, it's getting a little bit harder to get groceries, but uh, meh, she's tiny. She can she can do it. All right, ready for some gorgeous satin stitches? I know I am. Beautiful, I think this will be. So a little bit of a zigzag and that is a fantastic idea because it helps hold the edges down. I am trying to incorporate more zigzag stitches. Um, I think it gives the final, you know, product a little more perfection, if that's the right word, perfection. So it's a good idea to put the zigzag stitches in. You can see that right here, like the edges, even though I was a little bit off, it's going to be fine, but it holds them down flatter and it makes the satin stitches just gorgeous. How are we doing? How many people do we have, by the way? 270. 270. Rock on, people. I think everyone who's making masks and whatever should take a break and watch the videos. People aren't watching the videos. So, yeah, take some new time, join us. 
Um, I thought everyone would be watching all the videos all the time, and they're not, so... Uh, yeah, take some time. Ah, having a drink. Mmm. Did you have enough coffee, Don? Two or three? Did I sleep in a bit today, maybe? Yeah, well, I was up at seven with the dog, so I had one and I had another one when he got Oh, okay. This is my break time. Well, thank you for taking a break with us. It's uh, Christina Fleischer, it said. We appreciate you taking your break with us. Yeah, I think it's fun. Everybody has so much fun, and we get some of the planning out. So, what was the final verdict about the Q&A? Um, I think everybody would like the Q&A. Yeah, do you think? Okay. Yeah. I've uh, never done one. I saw a bunch of comments about it, so. Yeah, um. I think it would be good. And then I can show Mom how to text during the live. Uh, <laughs> comment. <laughs> You're funny, Don. That's funny. We will sort Mom out. Technology. Okay. Look how beautiful the satin stitches are covering. I like the blue edge because it matches with the lettering in the background. And I like the two color flowers too. Yep. I think I really like that. Just a little more interest. Uh, of course, the shape is stunning. A little, a little bit fiddly to trim, but as you can see, it is well worth it. I'm thinking bigger would also look fantastic. So, okay, Q&A. Well, I can do that. I'm going to bring this over so I can read. I had my iPad over a little bit. Okay. Okay, is there a question? Oh, it's about the coaster. Yes, Lorelai, thank you for answering that. Um... Yeah, it's hard. I'm not looking at the chat when we're doing a so long, so I'm going to miss stuff. If you have questions about the so long, post them. We have amazing moderators in this group and uh, or in this um, YouTube on the channel that have a lot of information on hand as well as in the group. These guys make everything rock. So... Ask away, it is fine. Oh, is the Norseman in the house? I didn't see that. I haven't even been looking at uh, um, who's here. I should be. What brand of thread are you using? Um, right now for the turquoise, it's Gunnold. I like to use either Exquisite, which is one of my favorite, or Floriani. So generally, I just saw this turquoise and I grabbed it. I don't have too many gun old colors, but I just thought, yep, yep. Watching the so Betty Turner says watching the sew along on my TV and using my laptop to comment. That's, awesome. That's cool. I like that. Name of the Facebook page is page or group. Oh, okay. OML Embroidery University Facebook group. I also have a Facebook page, and that's OML Embroidery. And we also have a website uh, for my blogging, because I love to blog, and also some of the mug rugs for sale, and it's OMLEmbroidery.com. So, Facebook group name. Yes, OML Embroidery University because we're always learning. I need more people to do their homework though. Some of the fish-ish that people put up were amazing. Um, um, amazing. But I need more. So fish-ish at Sunset with Sue where we were digitizing. Oh, okay. This is Creative Kiwi. We get that right. It has nothing to do with me. 
So what we did, and this is what we decided in the OML Embroider University Facebook group, that when we do a stitch along of one of my designs or Don's designs, that we have it for free for a week. So Thursday night at midnight, I guess it, it goes. But they're all going to be located on OMLEmbroidery.com. After that week, they're just like $4 each. So if you miss it the first time around, you can still get it. And it's just basically uh, the $4, just a, you know, not expensive at all. Some of them are pretty complicated. Um, but it's just to help us be able to keep the channel going. Everything is based on the channel. So it's OML embroidery everything. Oh, Teresa Carroll. Thank you. He's it's celebrating. It's a celebrating pair. <laughs> awesome. Someone got a new Peggy. She got a new puppy. Oh. <laughs> He is making it hard to embroider right now. Yeah, puppies, that, that'll do that. That'll do that. They can be a handful. Uh, my tank's not a handful because he just wears out beetle. It tank is so much fun. All right, I got to move the chat. And happy McDreamy music. I love that. So click OK. Can we go back to the desk, Don? Somebody was saying thank you for the free design we put up there on the, in our Facebook group, the uh, morale mug rug that we I put Oh, up. hey, maybe we could do a stitch along of that. I didn't think of that. I saw the creative Kiwi one and I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. So and you're all very welcome. Yes. I think it's a really cute design and we're kind of thinking maybe it might be a nice gift for someone. So let's pop that out. And I'm going to move my hoop because I don't ever want my hoops to fall and break. Especially now. <laughs> it's hard for us to get anything like that in Canada at all. And this is lovely water-soluble stabilizer. So you just want to, I call it hack it out. You don't want to be too precise. You don't want to, you know, cut it like that either. That's too much. But just uh, don't get too close because if you snip any of these, the satin stitches, it is going to be a bit of a mess. So we don't want to wreck it because we like it. Sandy asks who gets this one. <laughs> um, I don't know. Will there be an epic battle? Who gets oh, it? Who claimed the last one? I forget. Uh... Oh, I don't remember either. Uh-oh. There we go. I like it. So if you had the matching bob and you wouldn't be able to see the white, but I, people look at the back maybe, but I don't think they go, oh no, it's not matching. It has white through it. You don't need to worry about that. I think this is a gorgeous design. I think, um... The colors I picked out are awesome. I'm glad we did the outside yeah. bright, Don. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm glad we did that. So Karina says Don's mom gets the last one. She reminded us. Oh, thank you, Karina. <laughs> this is why I love Karina so much. She remembers stuff. And, and the other moderators do too. And they pass out the links because I forget to do it half the time. And it needs to be done. Um, everyone could take a moment to... Click on the share button and share it on your own timeline. It counts um, for YouTube, makes the channel more popular. And if it's on your own, I mean, that's fine. Um, or Pinterest or Twitter. I do tweet stuff, but it, it doesn't get much action. So what do you think, Don? I kind of like I the size, too. the colors. Uh, yeah, I wanted bright and bold. I think that's... For a while, my thing was purple. Um, if you remember the dancing... What was it called? The dancing... Dragonfly. Dance of the Dragonfly. Dance of the Dragonfly, So I was into purple for a while. I think for spring, it's going to be bright and bold is going to be the theme. 
So because this is water soluble stabilizer, all you need to do is have a little bit of water and you can use a Q-tip and just run it this way and you'll be able to pull it off and you will have perfect edges. So if there's any questions about putting this together, then sorry if I missed it. I'm not looking at the chat on this one. Um, head over to OML Embroidery University and ask in the group and we'd be happy to help you guys out. So I'm also in the group going to put up a poll if for the Q&A or stitch out if, if I'm feeling better tomorrow. So we'll see what we can do with that. So any other questions, Don? Just you try know, to catch it. Everybody's saying thank you very much. Uh, you guys are time. awesome. Thanks for joining um, I can't wait to see what color combinations and fabric combinations you guys are going to do or if you change the colors of the writing there because um, I just kept it the same, which is uh, cool. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bright and beautiful. That's so awesome. if there's no, que no, no questions at all, I'm they're, gonna they're saving questions for the Q and a tomorrow. Well, yeah, yeah, why not? I have to, we'll have to have lots of caffeine because you have to be on your toes. I might go, uh, a little bit, but we'll set some rules for it. Obviously, you can't ask me questions about software I don't have because I don't know. So, you know, that, that stands to reason. I won't be able to answer it, so... All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks everyone for joining us. I really appreciate you guys were here. I had Easter, sorry. Yeah, I had tons of fun making this, and uh, I think I want to make a bigger one. I might twin it with the same colors uh, because I think this looks really smart. Yes, Happy Easter to everyone. I know this is going to be a different Easter, but still, the Easter Bunny is an essential service. The Government of Canada has put out an official notice of that, as well as the Tooth Fairy. So all those things will continue. This too shall pass. Make the best of what you got. Happy stitching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! bye. Say bye!